Wow, this is a singer, a real singer Thank with you. true belief. Yeah. Thank you. She was lost in so many different ways out in the darkness with Ooh. no What is your name? I'm Bella and I'm 23 and I'm from Sydney. Growing up was, you know, a little messy. I've definitely taken on quite a lot. I'm helping to raise my younger sister, Gabby. I never really knew why I could sing or what I was going to do with it until I started going to church. It's an incredibly powerful thing in my life. I think singing brings so much freedom and so does music. And when I'm, around you, boy. I'm so excited for my two sisters, Gabby and Sophia, to see me chasing after something that I'm passionate about. I'm completely convinced that you will do amazing. Thanks. Yeah, you will. I haven't really sung much outside of church at all. I've never really been a person to do anything for me. I really hope that this will be a defining moment for me. Yeah. Hi, little angel. Why are you so emotional? Well, tell us what's going through your head right now. I'm just really excited to be here and to share something and it just feels like the right time for me. So I'm really blessed oh, to be here. Good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. my gosh. What do you do? What's your daily life like? I'm a singing teacher. Uh, and I work for my church, singing, oh, teaching good. singing. I mean, with that type of run and no soul, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, you took it to church. <laughs> I have to ask, I grew up singing in church. I was in my church choir. And what do you think growing up in an environment like church has taught you most about your gift? I don't feel like I can lay claim to my gift. 
And I think humility and kindness are so incredibly important. And just the joy that comes from music is something that's always worth sharing. Woo! The weirdest thing, right, when I auditioned, um, I think was because you sing. In church, it's about other people. You're there to sort of give peace. And it's really grounding. I think it's a, like your realisation that exactly what you said, your gift is for a reason and you've got to bring love to people. You've put your gift out there now, but it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing that your gift is about you as well. The service is still there, but you discover that your gift actually will reach people beyond what you thought it could reach in the most humbling and, and, and the most purposeful way. And I can see that humility. I can see that love for your gift and it's beautiful. There's no ego in it. It's just like yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that emotion only comes from a place of belief. Yes. As a singer, to get to that point of knowing you were going to nail that run that you just delivered at the end of this... <laughs> like, when we got... I was like, what's happening? What? I'm dizzy. <laughs> I was like, I'm so dizzy. I thought to myself, wow, this is a singer. A real singer Thank with you. true belief. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm just going to hit it off the bat. I really, really would be honoured to have someone like you on my team. And I don't know who blocked Jess, <laughs> and I don't want to get involved in that, but it was not me. Oh, man, I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad. Oh, what my goodness, you are incredible. You just let it soar. I am an awful person. Yes, you are. You are. <laughs> Guy! <laughs> Can I just say I'm happy that Guy blocked Jess too because I was going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jess. You know what? I forgive you. We'll, we'll go fishing later, but that's... <laughs> I just have to say, you could be on any stage. That voice is sublime. Like, it is like... Yeah. <laughs> I would absolutely kill to have you on my team. I genuinely just believe in you, and I think you're great, and I think you've got a future, and I want to be part of it. Go, go, do it, do it, just do it! <laughs> <laughs> I think the coach that I'm going to go with is... It's super nerve-wracking. I'm incredibly nervous. So much is riding on this for me. I just feel like it's probably going to be the most important 60 seconds of my singing life, actually. So, the song I've chosen for you guys is Time After Time. All right. Oh, good song. Oh, I love that's beautiful. Danielle, I'll start with you. did a really great job. She certainly has a beautiful voice and she's a very talented young lady. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting time after time. 
I knew this was going to be exceptional. You're all so different, so soulful. Whatever happens from this point, you should all be so proud. The down part is, I can only take one from this group. Yeah. If we all hold hands while I tell you guys, it's <laughs> such an honour to work with all of you guys. And um, I'm just going to rip the Band-Aid off. I'm going to take through Bella to this next round. I think we can all agree <laughs> that your performance was just so magical and so unique. Can't really contain it. I feel like I'm jumping out of my skin with happiness and excitement. So that's great. <laughs> Thank you, guys. How do you choose from that? I've never heard singers this good, like, a, as a team. Yeah. Like, there's lips, it's been faultless. Julianne and, and Daniel are obviously insanely talented, but when Bella was singing, I literally thought, I have never heard a better version of that song. Her choices. Ever. Her choices are ridiculous. I don't think I've heard better singing ever on this show. Hello. Hello. Hi, Bella. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? You look cool. <laughs> There is something about you that shines through every time I've heard you sing now. The blinds were crazy. It's amazing because I started singing and then all four chairs had turned, so that was very relieving. But it was awesome because I got to look over to the left and see my sisters and like just seeing their response and their excitement was really special for me. How did it feel having your sisters watching as well? Good. And like for Gabby, I'm glad that I can be an example for her to do things like this and... I knew that you were the pillar for your little sisters and that you would kind of help bring them up. Tell me about your dad a little bit. Yeah, he, um, is so kind and, um, just the best. Like, he was just the best dad, yeah. you know? Yeah. But I was, like, six, 15, 16. There was lots of, like, addiction issues and things that were kind of happening. Mm. And I found out that he'd started using ice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So that was, like, really hard. Who was looking after the girls? Um, so they were with me sometimes, with their mum sometimes. So you carried a lot of the weight, I guess, in, in the household. Yes. And Dad, are you still in touch? Yeah, he um, got arrested in September, mm -hmm. so he's in jail at the moment. So I get to see him now, like, and he's clean for the first time in, like, six years, which is amazing. Yeah. So it means that, like, I can, you know, talk to him about this experience and, like, get... What did he say? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> when you told him you He cried. <laughs> I couldn't believe of it. Of course he, he did. Oh, my God. It felt good to share with Guy a little bit about my story and about kind of the heaviness of the things that I've dealt with. And I think it will really help him and I work together in unity. The song I've chosen for you, it's The Voice Within by Christina Aguilera. Okay. When you read those lyrics, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I think like it reminds me a lot of my sister Gabby, of course. I thought you would make it about your sisters because it feels <laughs> like that. Yeah, absolutely. I've got a picture to show you. Oh, oh my God, that's... <laughs> <laughs> They're so little. You look the same. <laughs> so, what do you think when you look at that? <laughs> yeah. So this is you as a little girl. Mm -hmm. So even though you automatically want to sing to them, I want you to sing to her instead. Yeah. Young girl, don't cry. I'll be right here. Bella, she connects with her gift in such a deep way. Now that I know all that stuff about her, it just, it just makes sense. 
I'm just so moved. Young girl, it's all right. Your tears will dry. You'll soon be free to fly. How do you feel singing that to yourself as a little girl? Good. I feel good singing it. I feel like you saying that is what my heart needs probably, to believe this for myself and not just for my family, but for myself, yeah. I really want to make it through to the semi-final. I've never like actually stopped and like hoped for something for myself. So it's like, it's getting me emotional because I genuinely really want it. You can tell me nothing's yeah. Be right here when your world starts to fall. Young girl, it's all right. Your tears will dry. You'll soon be free to fly. And when you're safe inside your room, When nothing's harder than it seems And when there's no one else Look inside yourself You'll learn to begin to try Taylor Smith, that was so powerful. I mean, we're I think, all, I think we're like in crying. tears. Everyone's just crying. I'm just crying because you're not on my team. <laughs> <laughs> I just think there's levels, you know. That was just, just so crazy. Next level, and I feel like it's you. That's like your song. I just felt like I was listening to your song, you know. Jess, you were very emotional there. What was going on for you? Oh, I think just that you were just so present, um, present with your story, present with who you are and where you've come from. And I, I, I think that's the greatest part, to be able to stand up there and show the world, show everybody in this room and everybody watching who you really are. And for you to be able to tell your story like that, for so many who, are go who may be going through the same thing, it's, it's so helping and it, and it creates change and it heals people, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You sing with the purest motive. You just, you, you, you emanate such kindness. I've seen how you are to, to a lot of the other artists and you're just, you're so nurturing and so caring. And when, when people talk, you really listen and care. And I think because you're so pure inside, when you sing, 
people can't help but be drawn to this thing that, that feels so beautiful <laughs> and, and, and it's unbelievable. Guy, it's decision time now for you. You have two semi-final spots left on your team. So will you take Bella straight through, say goodbye right now, or do you need a bit more time to make your decision? OK, so... Um... You are yeah. absolutely through. Absolutely through! Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. My God. Give it up for Bella Taylor-Smith! You're just ridiculous. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Hello, Bella. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I thought I'd put some colour on for you today. Oh. <laughs> it's actually so cool. You can't miss me, can you? <laughs> so obnoxious. Nah, it's awesome. So, two left. Crazy. Over the last mentoring session, I learned a fair bit about Bella and her struggles with her family, with her dad being in jail. How's everything going on that front? Like personally for you? Um, I'm just in the process of trying to like get my dad's bail application through okay. and stuff like that, which is amazing, but... Have you heard from Dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he wrote me a letter. About yeah. the show and about everything, like... A little bit, yeah. Yeah, this is the letter. Dear Bella, sorry it's taken so long to write to you. I know it's been so long since we had a normal relationship, but... I believe you and I have a special connection. I believe we will always be able to pick up where we left off. Every time... Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we catch up, I can see how well you have a handle on life. I'm so proud of you for going on The Voice. <laughs> and what a great result with the chair turns. <laughs> So he, you told him you got more yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm glad to hear that you were nervous. That means that you'll do really well. I'm prouder than you could ever imagine. Together we will always get through things. Love always, Dad. Well, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's very personal for her to share all this stuff with me and it reminds me that as a coach we've got such a huge responsibility to actually be there as a shoulder for these artists that we're coaching. So, the song that I chose for you mm -hmm. is Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. I think that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts when you first read through the lyrics? I feel like it's how I feel a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. When you're sure you've had enough of this life it's always hard choosing a song and, and you don't know what that song's going to mean to the artist that you've chosen it for, but as Bella started to sing that, I know she was connecting with it straight away. Those words are actually perfect, especially after she read her dad's letter. Don't let yourself go. It's really scary for me to be vulnerable and it feels really exposing singing words like this. Everybody cry. I feel like it would be good for me to show that on stage. I need to kind of like bring people along the journey with me.
Taylor Smith, a standing ovation. I don't even know what to say. That was, I actually have like goosebumps. What just happened? <laughs> like actually just someone tell me what just happened because I feel like these chairs need to just be made like straight so we don't sit down when you come on because it's like, what is the point of sitting down when you're on that stage? That was something that I've never seen before, ever. And I mean that, and I mean that sincerely. You have just really inspired me beyond belief tonight. I don't even know how I can speak. I'm emotional tonight. <laughs> what a great performance you did. I mean... Thank you. Jordan came out and sang the best he's ever sung. And I'm like, what has made him so good? That right there. Yeah. Because he knows <laughs> what so you true. were bringing tonight. Yeah. And that is going to be a tough, <laughs> tough call for you tonight because you both just knocked it out of the park. It was beautiful, Here Bella. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, the artist that I'm going to take through to the voice grand finale is the artist that I believe is connected to and trusts their gift just that little bit more. And that's you, Bella. Congratulations, Bella. I'm just, like, so incredibly grateful, and this experience has been so amazing so far. You're a magician. Love well, you. Yeah. Congrats. How are you feeling? Yeah, great. How are you? I'm good. Grand finale. <laughs> Yeah. You made it. Yes. It doesn't surprise me that Bella's in the grand finale. I think we all said that in her blind audition. We knew we were witnessing something pretty special. Every week you just keep delivering. It's unbelievable. So you've done well. You can breathe a sigh of relief. You know, every, every week so far, we've dived into Bella's past and we've cried every time in the mentoring session today. I just wanted it to be all love and so, I had a little surprise for her. And your partner, he's been supportive throughout this process. Yeah, super supportive. What did he say when you told him, I'm gonna try out for The Voice? You're gonna win. <laughs> I mean, I may as well just ask him because I've got him here as a surprise if you don't mind me bringing in Liam. Are you lying? Liam! Babe? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Hey. <laughs> He's so bad at keeping surprises. Yeah. And I'm really good at figuring them out. But I had no idea. <laughs> oh my God. And your head, you shaved your head last night. Oh, this makes so much sense. <laughs> we had a really bad haircut yesterday and I couldn't figure out why he was so worked up and upset about it. <laughs> I tried, I tried. So how do you feel, Liam? Are you proud she's in the finale now? I'm immensely proud. She absolutely deserves it. Like. Just doing something for yourself, finally. I am extremely proud of you. If anyone can do it, it's you. It's grand finale, so we're gonna go big. And when I say big, like, the greatest showman, never enough. I've been wanting to give this song to somebody for a long time on the show, and I just haven't quite had the right voice. I've finally found the voice that matches the song, and I feel safe giving it to Bella. Never enough, never, never, never enough, never, never, never enough. That's, that's pretty good. It's <laughs> <That's> pretty good. <laughs> That's Sorry. ridiculous. Um, cool. Good sesh. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to really tell you much except for just now give you time to make this your own. On stage, I, I don't want bells and whistles. The best thing about you is your voice. I want you to enjoy this. Yeah. I mean, this is the moment everyone wants to get to. Thousands and thousands of people have tried to get to this very point. I feel really validated in like the most beautiful way. Yeah. Just like in every thing that we've done. Yeah, well you just need to keep being you. You deserve to be here and now it's, it's up to Australia.
Come on, Bella. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way. Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand. Would you share this with me? Cause darling, without you. Oh, the shine of a thousand spotlights. Oh, the stars would steal from the night sky. Will never be enough. So our grand finale duet is its big song. Um, I always describe this as the most beautifully written song in the world, and it's the prayer. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit nerve-wracking singing the duet with Guy, I think. I hope that I do it justice, because I know he will, you know? <laughs> That's such a big sing, mm. but that's exciting. Like, I think yeah. I'm really excited to sing with you. I so indulgently love your voice, <laughs> you know what I mean? The fact that I get to <laughs> sing that song with you is, it's a real treat. Guy's been so lovely and genuine this whole process, and I'm really grateful that he's been my mentor. Feel very lucky to be able to sing with him. to be wise in times when we don't know let this be our prayer let this be our prayer when we lose our way when we lose our way lead us to a place with your grace Give us faith so we'll be safe A world where pain and sorrow will be ended And every heart that's broken
going through your mind right now? Yeah, I just really can't believe it, you know? I just, um, I'm so thankful and I can't wait to see what incredible things are ahead for me and I'm really grateful for you and for everyone who voted and for my beautiful family who I love, so thank you so much.